stock chart technical analysis with the hanging man candlestick chart pattern, which now becomes a good reference for resistance as the chart recovers. Even though price continues to rise strongly, there are signs of weakness with these large green candles showing upper wick rejection, which is to be expected upon returning back into the price range of the previous downswing point. Of course, not all those green candles are close to fitting the criteria for a bearish shooting star candle pattern, but they show a similar quality in that there is difficulty closing higher with price being pushed back down in the short term as displayed by those longer upper wicks. Price begins to shift lower and in fact begins to consistently trade under the low of a hanging man candle with a slightly longer upper wick than normal. However, there is no close below its low yet, so the market remains relatively flat to slightly bearish, until the decisive catalyst that is the strong close lower. Moving ahead, here's the first significant pause to the development of this new downtrend. Although it's a volatile period, it's an overall bullish to neutral movement, so it can be called a minor rebound or a minor bullish retracement. It ends with a hanging man candle that is immediately confirmed with price strongly closing below its low. Ideally, the hanging man candle would form with its real body or the entire candle above the range of the previous candle, but overlapping the same price range as the previous candle like in this case is acceptable and understandable given the neutral to bullish context that came before it. To the next example, where this candle appears several times within a downtrend, so it's considered a bull hammer rather than a hanging man candle. And from the bull hammer section, you'll remember examples like these where no bullish reversals emerge because the candles right after the bull hammers trade below their lows and even close under them, thereby countering any short term bullish sentiment. Except in this last case, where price continually rises past the bull hammer's high. Price is steadily rising, so it could be considered a minor uptrend. That would mean the candle highlighted in grey would be considered a hanging man candle. But no bearish developments come out of it yet because we have the opposite situation where price doesn't trade below its low. Instead, bearish sentiment in the short term is countered with the following candles consecutively closing higher over the hanging man's high. This candle highlighted in red could be considered a hanging man candle, but it doesn't have ideal bearish features. First of all, it's green, so it's slightly less bearish. Although it's acceptable, its upper wick is much longer than normal. But in any case, the most important proportion is the longer lower wick showing intent to drive down. In contrast, the surrounding features are ideally bearish since the hanging man candle is bearishly engulfed and the next few candles close strongly below its low. Although the downswing quickly subsides, this candle pattern remains highly relevant because it becomes a useful reference for a short term resistance right now. And that builds further to a bearish continuation to progress the established downtrend lower. Later, it's a similar situation with price returning back to this range. We reference it for resistance once again. And as expected, the steep uptrend encounters opposition. And we can even see some familiar bearish candles forming. However, there's no follow through. So price doesn't even close below their lows and instead maintains a slight incline even before the noticeable bullish break which has just seen a bearish retracement reversed by a pair of bull hammer candles. But the resumption of the larger uptrend is short lived as the chart heads towards a neutral to bearish phase following a hanging man candle forming in line with the previous downswing point and getting quick confirmation of bearish sentiment with the next candles consistently closing under its low for the most part. Now to the first major rebound in this new downtrend, which is decisively reversed by a hanging man candle that has a slightly smaller real body and longer upper wick than normal. However, it has additional bearish context with the shooting star candle pattern before it and the next candles firmly closing below its low. 
even though there is equally strong short-term support opposing a further drop right now, keep in mind the broader context of the established downtrend in addition to these recent closes below the support level, which leads to a successful bearish continuation that also has increased selling volume as well. This next chart demonstrates how a bearish star followed by a hanging man candle can combine to essentially form a large doji. To summarize, the focus of a neutral to bearish phase. Down here is essentially the opposite with an inverted hammer followed by a bull hammer. Looking at just closing prices can sometimes help highlight the contrast between sharp reversal points and really flat indecisive periods in the market. Such flat periods can also take place when reversal candles like the hanging man pattern have relatively small real bodies, almost like doji candles. In these cases, it will also be normal to see the price ranges of candles highly overlap each other. So like normal, just wait for decisive closes under the lows of the hanging man candles. Another chart and new candles to look at within an uptrend. There it is, a typical drop. On the other hand, back here, the candle does have hanging man qualities, but the real body is really thin. So it's almost like a dragonfly doji, which in the context of an uptrend is more neutral. In addition, the large red candle that engulfs it only has normal selling volume, a three methods falling candle pattern advancing the downtrend lower. Later, when the chart begins to recover, there's a good example of a downswing from a hanging man producing a bearish retracement. Here's another one, price even moves under it, but it's bullishly engulfed, resulting in it becoming an immediate reference for resistance, which like in other examples just delays the uptrend for a short time. In contrast, this recent hanging man candle is followed by heavily increasing selling volume and a gradual drop in price with the most important result being a series of consistent closes under the hanging man candle's low.